you. We were set up to develop the engineering and business leaders of the future, and we had a mission of developing employable young people uh, who would also achieve great academic, academic outcomes. And we're pretty confident where we sit at this present moment in time that, that that vision has been achieved. Certainly the employers who are interviewing our young people are giving us feedback that those young people can perform effectively on that, on that stage. And our young people tell us that actually the skills they developed in teamwork, the skills, the practical skills they've learned are really transferable in terms of the rest of their learning. Well, we spend a lot more time you know, putting things into real working situations, so whereas at a normal school you'd look at science, maths and technology in purely a classroom environment, we take it one step further to like, sort of a, a business environment, how it would be in the real world, so we look in depth at so taking things through from the start, so from the initial ideas where you're designing things, right the way through to manufacturing prototypes, right the way through to manufacturing your original product, so rather than just looking at things in a classroom sort of scenario, we're taking things all the way through to how it will be in a business environment. I certainly think the a lot of the feedback we've given is that our young people are very confident about talking with it within a business within a business context. And a lot of the work that we do with them, solving problems in teams, having to present to outside, to outside people, pulling, putting forward reports and recommendations, are the types of skills they're going to need within the workplace. And certainly our employers, when they've been involved in those projects and seen those young people back in their workplaces on tours, or whether that be presenting, they've always been blown away by the maturity and what the young people are able to do. In the previous school, we, uh, we basically learned how to use hand tools and things like that. It was very basic, whereas here I've learned how to use a milling machine, how to use a lathe, how to use um, the um, CNC equipment that we've got in school, laser cutters and all that sort of stuff that's really helped sort of improve my knowledge of manufacturing. Because at my old school, I was, we had to make a coffee table and I didn't see that really getting me anywhere in life. Now, coming here, I can use a lathe. It's something I never would have done at my old school. I wouldn't even have dreamed of it. It's just sat in the corner, no one touched it. It's, now I can use it, manufacture parts on it, even CAD design. In my school it was basic software, now NX, make loads of different designs for everything really. I mean definitely the range of equipment is just vast here. I mean 3D printers, laser cutters, plasma cutters, you just never have the opportunity to see any of that at oh, my old school definitely. I mean we had one lathe for all of us, and this, that was a school of 1,500, and it's just unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, certainly in terms of the companies that work with us, uh, they've helped put the curriculum together. They own the projects that they deliver. It's the Toyota Challenge or the Network Rail Challenge or the National, or the National, National Grid Challenge activities. And the employers, I think, have really enjoyed that process and I think that the guys who come here and the, and the women who come here and help us deliver that curriculum from those partner organisations, quite often they go out with a real buzz in terms of the work they've been able to lead the young people through. I, th I would say leadership skills are the most important thing we've definitely learned. Going into challenges, being put into groups, especially on our first challenge, the Harper Adams challenge, where we had to design an off-road vehicle make our own remote control car. We were put into teams and we had a resource manager, team leader, timekeeper and quality checker and it gave us how actually it's things more work in the actual world. How someone is in charge, not everyone gets their set, it's not, not their say in a way, it's a team. Effort. Yeah it's a team effort. I think that's looking at that in that point of view is I think it's been the most valuable really. Certainly what's true is that the students coming through who are reaching 18 with us have really looked very, very seriously at the higher apprenticeships and a lot have taken that route to getting their, to getting their degree qualification alongside working. And a lot of them, I think, really, having gone through the experience here, are thinking, actually, that's a more appropriate route for me rather than taking the university route, which lots of them have got offers for but have, ch but have chosen to take a higher, higher apprenticeship route.
For here, what we're doing is we're, we're employing people with an engineering background and we're putting them through a teacher qualification during the time they're with us. Um, and I think that's something that as university technical colleges develop, I think the university technical colleges, almost as a movement, need to continue to do, to develop that supply of people, people coming through. Because with 35 UTCs already approved, that's obviously a significant demand for people with those, those skills and qualities.